carry the GoPro around here today, mainly because I forgot the uh, the G7X over at the garage. Uh, but I want to go out and uh, wash the GT3 RS. So I guess we'll call this a GT3 RS vlog day because I have a bunch of projects I want to work on. I want to adjust the ride height. I want to get the SeaTech uh, pigtail. I'll show you that. Uh, for the trickle charger, get that installed. Uh, I'm gonna wash it first. So we're gonna go out in the wash bay and uh, and I'm gonna do a vlog style washing. This won't be a full wash video. Uh, we're gonna carry this camera around today, shoot it in 4K and see what it looks like. What are you gonna do, Katie Bell? Oh no, don't. You gotta stretch it out, Shelly, your back's jacked up. Yeah. You've been working on ballet, Kate? You work on your spins. Kate went to ballet camp. Show us what you learned. Come up on your toes. Remember this one? Got some new hose nozzles to test out here. Fire hose nozzles for the bucket filler. We'll see how they do. It's frustrating in Florida because we have you know, this weather is just brutal. Like you know, you think Florida everything's great, but it's hot and wet all summer long so it becomes a bit of a just maintenance washing and making sure you don't have stuff that cakes on the car uh, because you know we get beat up with rain over and over and over non-stop uh, so we really don't have a choice but to wash it and it'll get dirty again today uh, the raptor is uh, down at ultimate auto so i've been driving this all week and man what a what a great, great experience to drive your uh, RS around town all week. It's been awesome. Got to put some microfiber towels away. Uh, I don't know. I always like sorting through these and putting them away. The WRX ended up using tons and tons of towels, so you got to get everything organized. <laughs> needs to be cleaned. Just cleaning up the wheels, microfiber madness and credit brush, wheel bucket, Adam's wheel cleaner, Adam's tire and rubber, tough shine brushes and other various tools to get these cleaned up. So I I I, I promised to do this for the I probably shouldn't say this in video until the end of time. I don't care how big Obsessed Garage gets. Uh, I always want to be able to do this. Uh, but I uh, had a guy, we were sort of emailing back and forth and uh, had an issue with the Krenzler pump. Uh, couldn't figure out what the heck's going on. Everything was lining up, everything was perfect. So we just FaceTime here on Saturday morning. So I got a little sidetracked here working on the RS. And uh, we determined there you was know, something wrong with the Mosmatic gun. It was an issue I'd never seen before. So I told him, hey, look, I I'll, I'll, I'll got on the phone with my dad. Uh, just now he's over at the garage. It's Saturday, so if we rush, we can get, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, we can get beat the post office. So he's putting a gun and a return label in the, you know, in the, in the, in the box. We'll get it out priority, so he'll shoot, he'll get it. If it goes out today, he'll probably get it Tuesday. Uh, but uh, I want to be able to do that forever. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if the other big dogs do that. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> that I want to be able to do that forever. So anyway, I got the phone set up while, while, while Hank and I were on the phone, I was testing out the different bucket fillers. We're going to be going with this one here, the uh, fire hose nozzle, I should say on, on the bucket filler. The other one leaks a little bit. Uh, I want it to, when it's off. So the water's still on the spigot here, but when it's off, I want this thing to be leak free. Right, even with the quick disconnects and the the adapters to convert to a garden hose from from NPT, so I should have all the parts for this 
hopefully this week, maybe next week. I'm waiting for the hoses. I had to order the hoses, so they're coming soon. I'm also doing a, a, a less expensive version as well. So anyway, got my Adam's soap all set up, foam cannon ready to go. I'm gonna foam the car and uh, wash. Car's clean. I just blew, blew it off with the Ego. Ego 5, 30 CFM blower. And now I'm gonna put some bead maker on it for the first time. So we'll see how this works as a drying aid slash topper for Kamikaze. Now I put it on the truck last week. So let's put it on the car. All right, I'm working out my system for bead maker. Just spray it on much more than I would normally spray a normal drying aid. And then I've got a red towel and a blue towel. So the blue towel is for the initial wipe and this kind of spreads it around. Make sure I get even coverage on all the surfaces. And then we'll come back with our red towel and wipe off the excess. So the thing I do notice that now I haven't tried it on a wax yet. But on a coating, I don't know if you can see that, but it smears around and it's, you know, it's 85, 90% humidity out here right now. So it doesn't wipe off as easily with this higher pile towel. Now I like to use this as my drying aid towel, towel because of the extra pile, right? And so I feel like, you know, cause I usually, uh, since I'm not scrubbing the surface, I usually have bugs and things left over on the surface. The procedure then is to take my lower pile, red wax removal slash detail spray towel, and I'll use this to wipe off the extra. It seems to be working really well. And then the slickness we get on top of the already slick surface appears to be adding some depth. Seems to be working well, so I'll have more on this later. Got to take my stinky shake. I'm doing this standard process. Standard process program, 21 days. I'm down to 218.8 from 234. Not too bad, but strawberries and apple and some protein, some of their vegetable-based protein. All right, heading over to the garage. Uh, actually, I'm heading to get some oil. I need to get some uh, 5W20, change the oil, and raise the front end up, do the C-Tech install, and I'll feel really good about my car being, uh, being dialed in. Then next week, I think, you know, Tuesday, I'll try to go get an alignment done before the Rupus trip. But uh, the car is clean. I want a lot a lot deeper in the in the project than I thought I was going to bead maker bead maker the wheels did all the trim all the I'm well, not the trim the uh, jams I love my new wheel drying towel it's awesome the wheel cleaning drying and then using the other pile the lower pile for the tires dress the tires some pearl got everything in the front here head now on the lift gosh so fun when it's clean so here's a reference so the, the rear is fine height wise the front is where I'm gonna come up with it it's just you know it looks great just a little bit too low so I'm gonna come up probably quarter inch oh man it looks so good I've got to I'm gonna take my exo shield off I've got a bunch of a bunch of dust spots on here so I'm gonna We'll see if we can get that off here today, but I kind of need to get a steamer. I don't have one. Just the WRX out in the sun for the first time. Of course, it'll rain today, I'm sure. So good. It's pretty awesome. I don't know about this wide angle uh, 4K video. We'll see how it goes. But. And that looks sharp. Well, gotta love Florida. Every single 
day is like the craziest rainstorm you've ever experienced. All right, so I got all my tools here. I bought the wrong gosh darn oil. I don't need 5W20, I need 5W40. So I'm going to have to go back to the place. But I'm taking off the wheels. My dad just jumped in. It's nice having an assistant. He just jumped in and uh, held the brake pedal down so I can take these off. So move the center lock. Just brutal, brutal amounts of pressure. 444 foot-pounds needed to break these suckers. So you probably need a little bit more than that to break it. Center locks off. Use my spanner wrenches. Break this loose. Now you can't see it here, but I made a green line here so that I can count how many revolutions. I think I'll come up five turns and then we'll put it down on the ground and see what happens. All right, moved it up. Who knows how much, but some amount. So now I'm gonna put the wheels back on. We'll put it back down and remeasure. See what our height looks like. There's our height. I'm about a quarter of an inch higher. It looks a little high until you drive it. So it looks looks higher in person until you drive it around. Yeah, this car needs a little bit more room. The RS needs a little bit more room up front, I learned, than the GT3. So we have a nice roughly finger gap here where I had no gap. I have the same in the rear. Just the car does better. It's much more settled, a little bit higher. So I went, I went back up. I'll go have it aligned next week. So now we need 444 foot pounds. Torque. I push the brake all the way down, like all the way to the floor. Push the steering wheel. Hold on to the steering wheel. C-Tech, so we have our C-Tech charger, all right? And we want this to be easy to hook up for trickle charging when, you know, when the car's sitting. The problem is the little pigtail that they sell that I'm gonna connect to the battery so that it's there permanently, it's just a tiny bit too short. So you need to buy this big, long connection. This, uh, what is this? This is eight foot, this eight foot piece. I have to buy this in order to make it work. And so that I end up tying up most of this wire under here. So where this is gonna go is on the battery here. All right, so I'm gonna connect it to the battery. I have this, I'll tie it down here. And then what I end up doing is tying to here that extra wire, just so I can have a little, this little thing sticking out the hole and then I can plug it in really quickly anytime I need to. C-Tech pigtails in. Just need a couple little zip ties so this then will stick out the hole. I'll show you that in a minute. So I got it all wired up nicely. Ready to roll. And then it'll all be hidden there under the cover. So we have the little thing here. So I can easily take my C-Tech charger and just plug it right in whenever I need to. So I'm going to pull out my twin bush oil extractor. I'm not going to do any extracting. I'm just going to dump the oil in the bucket here. So we'll see how this works. Good thing I got the operation manual in German. That doesn't help me much. So we're a little more sophisticated than the last time I changed oil in the GT3. I was going back and watching my old video. Uh, but we have the reservoir tank. And we have here, here, and then there's your filter up there. All right, so I'm gonna pull those all off and change the oil down into my twin bush tank. So we've got the little third reservoir area. It dumps out a little extra. You're probably supposed to open them all at the same time, but I can't reach the, the bucket. So we got number one, 
actually number one the reserve tank number two is in there and there's another number three all right off to the auto parts store now gosh darn oil filters wrong size i mean go figure I, I don't know why it makes sense now because they made some oiling changes to the new versions so we're gonna go get one force pulls you back, your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor, the floor, foot to the floor. 